Hey YouTubers, it's me, Mustin07, coming at you once again through the power of OBS Recording Studios. And in this video, I'm just going to be going over the different things they added in Minecraft 1.21. So, let's get started. Now first, they added different variations of the copper block and things you can make with the copper block. So, you know, you got the chiseled copper, uh, copper grate, uh, copper door, copper trap door, and copper bulb. So, you know, all those cool things. And much like the regular copper block, if you right click it with an axe, you can make it go behind in a stage in terms of its oxidation process. The copper bulb is a very interesting block in Minecraft because it gives off a redstone signal and all you gotta do is turn a lever. So it's off right now and I have it hooked up to a comparator and some redstone. So when I flip the switch, bam, all of a sudden it's on and it's giving off a redstone signal and regardless of the oxidation of it, it will still give off the same signal of 15. Say so I have all the different variants of everything in the different types of copper oxidation. To craft things, you know, you can use your crafting table um, and we got them all right here. You know, we got the, the copper door, the copper bulb, you craft it like this. Copper grate, you craft it like this. Copper trap door, you craft like this. And despite the fact that these doors are metal in um, iron doors you can't open with your hands, even though they're metal, you can with copper doors. They got interesting designs on them too. Next, the Tough family has increased in size. When there was just the Tough block originally, now there's all kinds of cool things. You got the Tough, Tough stairs, Tough slab, Tough wall, Chiseled Tough, Polished Tough, Polished Tough stairs, Polished Tough slab, Polished Tough wall, Tough bricks, tough brick stairs, tough brick slab, tough brick wall, and chiseled tough bricks. And all of these um, are crafted from the tough block, which is the base of it all. Man, though, I said tough so much, just now it doesn't even feel like a word anymore. But anyway, you know, you can use your stone cutter to make it like this, you know, just like you can with every other thing you use on the stone cutter, like stone. Or you could use your crafting table, and you got you know, all the recipes right here. A lot more things you can use to build. And it's kind of nice because, you know, if you're mining deep underground, you'll usually get a good amount of tough and it just feels pretty really useless, but it's not really useless anymore because now you got all these cool new things to build with it. And now we're going on to the next thing, the crafter, which is probably the most important device in the history of Minecraft because you can craft whatever you want just like a regular crafting table yet it will do it automatically with a redstone signal so let me just let me just grab something let's say i want to make a golden chest plate for example let me just grab some gold i'll place it in here like so and i get chest plate but what's cool i'll just grab a button now a jungle button whatever kind of button it doesn't matter and bam as you can see i got it which basically means that there are such things as automated manufacturing machines in Minecraft now. So in a way, the industrial revolution of Minecraft has just begun. Because look, bam, now I can have my cool little gold chest plate on. And you can also block this out, meaning that you can easily just um, insert your gold to make your gold chest plate in here. So that's pretty nice. And there's also now the trial spawner, which spawns mobs just like any other mob spawner but it is based on uh, how many players are in your group when you enter the trial chamber and of course the more players there are the harder the more mobs there's going to be because it needs to balance it out for how many players there are so i'll just grab a spawn egg axolotl i don't know and just just so you know axolotls don't spawn in the trial spawners but still you get the idea they spawn and you can also drink an ominous potion which does make the spawners harder but you get better loot and from this you can get the vault which is at the end of the trial chamber and you need a you need a key since i'm not an ominous i'm not in an ominous trial chamber or anything i'm just going to use a standard key and after you defeat the trial chamber and get through successfully you get your key and then you can open the vault 
and get some pretty sweet loot. But what's special about these vaults is that you can only open each vault once per player. Like, any player, like, if I open this vault and then I had a friend, he could go open the vault after me, but I can only open the vault and collect my loot once per vault. So if I wanted to get more loot, I'd have to find another trial chamber and find another open vault. So, um, I'll just show you how it works. So I open it, and then all this loot. The loot can be a bit random, but it can usually be pretty good. So, oh wow, I got a diamond chest plate with thorns one. That's that's an alright deal. And they also added some new mobs. They added the Breeze and Bog. The Bog is a mob. It's a type of skeleton, sort of like the Stray. But since the Stray spawns in snowy biomes, um, the Bog is a skeleton that spawns in, uh, in swamp biomes. And just like a regular skeleton, it'll shoot you. And, come on, shoot me please, I need you. Ah, yeah, and it'll give you poison, so be careful when you are making a deal with a bot, because they aren't exactly very friendly. But you know what? Neither is the Breeze. The Breeze is not a very friendly mob either. It basically just flies around, and they spawn in trial chambers. And I'll just switch over to sur survival again so you can see how it works. See? It's coming at me. And it launches wind or whatever. It, like, wa launches wind spells at you, causing you to get sent flying. And that can be pretty dangerous, especially if you're at low health. Because even the smallest bits of fall damage can be life-threatening when you're at low health, as you probably know. So, I'll just switch back into creative. Uh, I'll set it today again. But... In order to find a trial chamber, the best way, if you're in survival mode without cheats, is to go and consult a cartographer. And just like how they have ocean explorer maps or woodland mansion maps, um, they can also now sell maps that show where trial chambers are. But because I have cheats and it's for the sake of a video, um, I do know where a, a trial chamber is. So, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go to it now. Oops, uh, that wasn't supposed to happen, but I'm underground right now. But it's somewhere around here, deep underground. So I'm just gonna just gonna look for it. Ah, and here it is. So this is a trial chamber. Oh man, it's lagging a little bit. Uh, probably because it's trying to generate all this stuff, because it's pretty complicated. So the trial chamber is where you go in and you fight all these mobs from the spawners. At the end, you get the prize. And you can also, in order to make the trial chamber harder, you can you can drink an ominous potion. Well, it's an ominous bottle, but it gives you the effect of bad omen. So I'll just drink it right now. So now I got bad omen five for an hour and 40 seconds. So it's a pretty long time. And it makes the trials much, much harder. But the loot is so much better. And the way you get the ominous potions is by killing a raid captain in the pillagers. Because now, instead of just automatically getting the effect of bad omen, you get the bottle of the ominous potion. So meaning that now if you want a raid in a village, you have to voluntarily drink the potion to give it to yourself. So that's pretty cool. Um, I plan in a future video, perhaps, to... Um, Maybe try out one of these trial chambers, just to run through, um, show you guys how it works. But that just about does it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, stay tuned for more videos, and goodbye.